Hi, in this video, we are solving for the value of x. To do this, I'm going to present two different methods, which will give us the same value of x. Now, so let me start with the first method. Now, generally, if we have nth root of x, and I want to remove this n fruit, I can do that by exponenting the whole thing to n. And this will give us x exponent n times 1 on n. And this cancels out and we get x. So by doing so, we've been able to remove the n fruit from the x. So I'm going to apply the same method here. Now, in this problem, the outer root is the fifth root. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to exponent this whole thing to five. And because this is an equation, what I do to the left-hand side should be done to the right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply so I'm going to get so all this exponent 5 and I'll, I'll do the same thing to that so so that this 5 that is as seen from here this 5 cancels that and so the fifth root disappears and we'll be left with the fourth root of x exponent 10. And this is equal to 4 exponent 5. Once again, I can apply this property to remove the fourth root. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this whole expression to 4. And I'll do the same thing here. So I'm going to get into brackets the fourth root of x exponent 10 all exponent 4 and this gives us 4 exponent 5 all exponent 4 so by this property this cancels that and so the fourth root is taken care of so this gives us x exponent 10 is equal to generally if we have a exponent n all exponent m this is given by a exponent n times m so this is the same as 4 exponent 5 times 4 which gives us 4 exponent 20. so now to find for the value of x i'm going to find the 10th root of x exponent 10 and i'll do the same thing for 4 exponent 20. So this gives us the term fruit of x exponent 10, which is the same as the term fruit of 4 exponent 20. And the, the term fruit of x exponent 10 is the same as x exponent 10 times 1 on 10 according to this property and this is also equal to the 10 fruit of 4 exponent 20 is the same as 4 exponent 20 times 1 on 10 and so the tens cancel so i will be left with x is equal to 4 exponent sorry is 4 exponent 2 and x therefore becomes 16. Now let's look at let's look at the second solution. Let's look at the second method. Let's look at the second method. Now in the second method, let's recall, let me rewrite the question. So we are looking at fifth root of fourth root 
of x exponent 10 is equal to 4. Now, so to use a second method, what I'm going to do is that I'll pick the left-hand side and simplify everything, after which I'll now come and equate it to 4. So, to simplify this, I must first of all take a look at the fourth root. So, after simplifying the fourth root, then I'll, I'll now come and simplify the fifth root of the simplified fourth root. Generally, according to the properties of indices, if we have, if we have the nth root of a exponent m, this is giving us a exponent m times 1 on n, which is a exponent m on n. So I'm going to apply this property here to simplify the fourth root of x exponent 10. Therefore, the fourth root of x exponent 10 is given by x exponent 10 times 1 on 4, which is equal to x exponent 10 on 4. So now, because I've simplified the fourth root, I'm going to rewrite this expression where the fourth root will disappear. And therefore, this now becomes the fifth root of x exponent 10 on 4 because I've catered I've for the fourth root. And so, I'm also going to simplify this. But remember, this is equal to 4. I said from the beginning that let's take care of the left-hand side after everything will come in equity to the four, I mean four. Now I can also go ahead and simplify what you have here using the same property. So using that, I'm going to get, using that I'm going to get x exponent 10 on four times 1 on 5. Remember the property. So, this is equal to 4. So, furthermore, I'm going to get x is x exponent. 10 times 1 gives me 10. 4 times 5 gives me 20. So, I'm going to get 10 on 20. And this is equal to 4. So what is going to happen here is that x exponent 10 on 20 is the same is the same as x exponent 1 on 2 because 10 on 20 is 1 on 2 and this is equal to 4. Now to find for the value of x I must raise x exponent 1 on 2 to a number which cancels this 2. And so the number becomes 2. Therefore, I'm going to get x exponent 1 on 2. So I'm going to raise it to 2. And I'll do the same thing here for exponent 2. Now this 2 cancels this 2. So x gives us 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. Therefore, x is equal to 16. Thank you for watching this video. And please don't forget to comment in the comment section, like this video, and subscribe to this channel.